Nice. With We Fit Plus. Okay, starting game one, Ividel and Waka. So, interesting that we're starting on Final Destination. When we saw Waka play on Final Destination earlier, kind of destroyed his opponent because they weren't able to hide underneath the, the platforms. But that was more of like a projectile-based character, whereas Yoshi, uh, while it has a projectile, is not reliant on his projectiles as much. Yeah, he's not a zoner. He's able to just kind of use his eggs to kind of zone out his opponents and poke through them a little bit, but he's not necessarily classified as a zoner. I would say he's kind of like a little bit of a rushdown mix-up character. He's definitely something, for sure. I mean, he survived that fire with no attack. I mean, we all get what second jump is crazy. You got the armor, and then still has a good amount of height on it. Great air mobility. Partner that with the directional air dodge. Oh no. That's yep. right. Okay, Zaring. Only attacking on a little bit of damage, but okay, we see egg toss to nothing. Oh, back air out of shield. It's a good multi tool. <laughs> oh, the misfire and not able to actually come back on the stage just yet, though. That's good right, patience from him, though. Mm -hmm. Rolling right into the up smash. Or, that was just great reactions from Ividel. Notice the, the roll. And let the up smash go. And speaking of up smash, we just got Waka swinging as well. It's a little bit of a, I was gonna say he got a little bit of a drag down, but it doesn't. Yeah, the last hit does push you down, uh, or the, I think the second to last one. So if you do it correctly, the down air can spike. I think yeah. normally it hits you up, doesn't it? It hits you a little bit up, but it also drags you down. Oh, that was a really good angle for the egg toss too. Covering the jump, but unfortunately a back throw is gonna clean up. There goes that. Yep, that's a dead Yoshi. A little bit of a patience here. This could be big for Waka though. 39% not the stock though. He does have a lead. He does have the lead, but Dash Attack gonna put Ividale on the right side of the stage. Wow, the tether grab beat a tether grab. Oh, in the middle of the upbeat. Yeah, the ground pound got stuffed by a nair. All right, great. Di Ividel still living. That's how you know Luigi's a crook. Nice. He used the egg to kind of lead in a little bit, but before he got ground. Nice. Able to actually get away from Waka. He just ran up and tornadoed in his face. He just he just did it. No comment. <laughs> no comment. At that point, it's kind of Vidal's fault for like just letting him do that to him. He kind of had like the whole stage to work with a little bit just to like get away, but I really don't understand that thought process. I feel like he wanted to punish him for trying to chase him, but at that situation, like it just did not bode well for him, especially when you're on your last stock. Like I know, you know, it's really difficult. Yeah. But, I mean, it's definitely, you always want to surprise your opponent, right? Run up, down B, uh, it's a huge surprise. Who's going to do that? No one's expecting that. Exactly. But I felt like at the last stock, right, you're going to have to play a little bit more conservative. And I really don't know if it all is pro thought process here, but maybe we can finally understand here in this next game with Waka up 1-0. I believe this is was the was the stage that we saw Ividel do very well against uh, Chunky Monkey. Yeah, we did. The platforms kind of help Yoshi, especially when he wants to get like more juggles, as well. I think that's one of the one things that's really scary about Yoshi is getting juggled by him because that tail, 
It may look really small, but it packs big damage. Yeah, Tornado, of course, the safety net of Luigi's. I kind of want to see, like, I'm definitely giving Walker a lot of credit, right? He's really good at just whipping out Tornado because if I were a betting man, I would try to learn the fact that maybe baiting out Waka to go for a Tornado might be the best play to kind of punish him to stop him from doing that. I just can't believe this man got another misfire on stream. <laughs> I wonder if he gets, like, a lot of misfires off stream. Maybe he doesn't get any misfires off stream. If he does get misfires off stream, I'm telling you one thing right now, Z-Fly, I'm $20, and when this is all over, he can go bet on Black for... <laughs> I think uh, I think the odds are a little bit worse than that, but they're still you know going in his favor. It's a dr good drap reset into S smash. Even yeah. From center stage, he's gonna kill at 100. percent That's seems a little bit early. I'm telling you, dude, this dinosaur does just so much damage. Yeah, there's a lot of power in that noggin for sure. It's a big nose, dude. Come on. <laughs> I feel like his brain is in his nose. Okay, that was that was good from Ibido. Uh, we are. Yoshi clipped the head of Luigi before the, the tornado animation really got started, so that protection yeah. wasn't there. Tough trade there for Ivido, but nonetheless, he still has the lead with Waka at 83%. This is a grab. This might change all of that lead, but he doesn't get the up B at the end. I wonder if there was a... I think there might have been like a lag spike or something that just yeah, messed up yeah. the timing. I see a little bit of it here on my side. I mean, when you know just how, like, how sensitive that down throw combo is... You're off by just a frame or two. It's the the entire thing's done. It's over. Yeah. Just like that. Oh, the direction. Oh, no. You know what? He had to go for it. Well, yeah, he no. well, he, I, I feel like he could have drifted a little bit more and then upbeat. He didn't have access to a second jump, so that was gone. Yeah. Maybe just a bit of a panic or hoping for a reach. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, this time, he kind of stays on the ground, waits for it. Baiting out Luigi's Tornado is a really good option to punish him for Because if you don't punish him for Tornado, like we saw last <gasps> game, Waka's just going to go for it. And we just saw Egg Roll get punished. Somebody yeah. informed Sid. Somebody tell Sid. Oh, uh -oh. No. no. What is this? Buffer, buffer, buffer. Come on, Nintendo. <laughs> Come on, Smash! Work with me here! I gotta turn it to cast! Just this once, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Who disconnected? Oh. Who was it? Somebody's gonna be gone. Oh, and it was Waka! What? Uh, Warchief, what do we do in that, in this case? Can I get the hashtag fix ultimate online chat, please? Is that, uh, did that actually end up trending? Cause I know um, a bunch of people were trying to get it trending. 20,000 tweets. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. But was it trending? Yeah, it was trending. It was okay. number two. Because wow. right now, n right now, nothing beats the coronavirus trend on Twitter. All right, Ling Ling. I feel for your loss. I hate Sonic too. I hate him in this game because Sonic is such a cool character, but they made him play wow. so lame. You're such a hater. Did you even watch the Sonic movie? I did. Actually, no, I didn't. I thought we were supposed to. What? Movie night. Oh, you're right. I have, that's why. That's why I suggested. I haven't seen it. Yet. I haven't seen it either. I was gonna go watch it at Hat, but then the coronavirus happened, and I was like, "Damn it." Okay, so I'm pretty sure we have to give that win to to Ividel, right? Yeah, if Are I'm not mistaken. Waka completely DQ or not DQ, but disconnected. But also, just a little bit of a thing about out there for you guys. I know that Spectrum is very infamous for 
for its internet issues. So I know Charlie had that problem today, and I had that problem earlier today too. Okay. I would have taken the W. <laughs> I would have been like, nah, man, I was here. Somebody, I would have played the Cosmos card. That's what I would have done. <laughs> nah, man, don't do my man dirty like that. <laughs> hey, we we till further proven guilty, he is an innocent bystander. Okay, so it sounds like uh, I mean, both keep players in are in agreement. That's that's more, I mean, shout outs to good good sportsmanship, like understanding that we are playing on something with a very very difficult amount of netcode that we just does not work well for us here, and being a really good sportsman and how you know showing sportsmanship in a situation like that is honestly really really good. So. My shout out is to them. Yeah, okay. Sounds like that. They're just going to play game two, but resetting to two stocks. Yeah, fiber for all is really good. Like fiber, and having fiber optic cables is definitely one thing that helps speed out your internet. But also, yeah, fixing the netcode for is uh, also a really big step. We have delayed base netcode, and we see how bad that is. But what's the what's that thing? Rollback netcode? Yeah, GGPO. Yeah, that thing. We should get some of that. So if you guys, if I'm not mistaken, the way the GGPO it works. For those of you guys wondering, that amount of rollback netcode, it's it's kind of new. It, it released back in 2015, but it's really good. Okay, there's the infamous SDs. Can I get a three, two, one countdown? All right, that's there. Forget it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're back into it. Oh, oh what no. is okay. This, this is unplayable. I I But you know what? Like I said, <laughs> good sportsmanship sometimes. Someone gets just... speedtest.net in here. <laughs> <laughs> you just let it rock, bro. Sometimes you just let it rock. Alright, well. I, I guess the best thing I can do for you guys to really explain rollback netcode is rollback netcode is a technique that simulates frame inputs without delay rather than waiting for input to be received from the other signal, which is basically delay-based netcode. Ooh, is stimulates. It, yeah, so rollback, it stimulates the inputs rather than waiting for an input. Not only what makes Ultimate Online really difficult is the fact that you have to suffer anywhere from 8 to 10 frames of input delay lag, but you also have to suffer delay lag from delay-based netcode. Rollback enhances the inputs instead of waiting for it. And well, Waka was able to get a footstool after Ividel uses the second jump. Really unfortunate for Ividel because that was just like a. It seemed like it was only at mid percents, too. So that forfeit of the stock is going to be huge. Especially yeah. in a two stock format. Oh, good pivot grab. Well, man, we're playing Smash 4 out here, boys. Hey, man, <laughs> I love me some two stock format. I did not, bro. That game was not. <laughs> I will argue to a lot of people that game should have been. No way, man. Best of five, one stocks. I thought that was an interesting one. <laughs> <laughs> that was an interesting format proposed. All right, well, Evadol, nonetheless, though, he's uh, trying to survive here in this two-stock format. Though. Oh, no. I talked about it. You got to respect Luigi on that tornado. And oh, two-stock! <laughs> <laughs> oh, where's the two-stock chance at? Remember those vans? Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> two stock, two stock. <laughs> oh my god, takes me back, dude. Shout out to everybody who went to Mexico. So that was a great one too. We had a two stock chance everywhere. 
<laughs> really quick for you guys wondering, what are some video games with um, the uh, GGPO, which is basically a uh, rollback netcode? Games like Lethal League, Marvel vs. Capcom Origins, the Dark oh, Can we not talk about that game, please? I never oh. want to hear that game ever oh, I'm again. I'm sorry. There is Marvel vs. Capcom 3, and we're waiting for 4 to come out. Origins, not ult uh, not the other one. It's, it's oh, the re Origins. Re Origins is the re-release of the original Marvel. Oh, you're right. Yeah, they just titled I it I forgot Origins. about that one, actually. Um, but yeah, Darkstalkers has GGPO. Um, that one My Little Pony inspired fighting game has... I think it's called Them Fighting Herds. That has GGPO. Yeah, Xerxes, is right. Shout out to Xerxes. You're telling uh, us that My Little Pony fighting game has better netcode than Smash Brothers? Yes, it does. Oof. But also the creator has a lot of money. Oh, <laughs> you're right. You're right, um, you're right. Yeah, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom has it. Like Zerk said, Marvel vs. Uh, Third Strike Online has really good rollback netcode. Darkstalkers has rollback netcode. Lethal League has rollback netcode. Mm -hmm. um, Skullgirls has rollback netcode. So yeah, those are some games if you guys are wondering. What has rollback netcode? Third Strike uh, Online, huh? Yeah, uh, the, at least though, yeah, like Zerk said, at least the release on PS3 and Xbox 360. Um, that has GGPO. But I think it's largely because that game was developed here in the US um, rather than Japan. Most Japanese games use uh, delay-based netcode, 